Hey Blendebob here, I created a link manager. Yeah, it's a UI where you will see all the links that you have in your scene and you can turn them on and off as needed. You can switch them from high res to low res, but not only this, you could have the low res in the viewport, but when you render, it's gonna render the high res. This is the normal workflow in Blender. You would go in file and you would go link and you would choose the file. So in the file, you can choose the objects if you want, but I prefer to load collections because it's cleaner. So I load my collection here, Nissan, and I got the car. Now, if you go in the Blender file here, you can see the link is right here. The only thing you can do is delete, relocate, and reload. And once it's gone, well, it's gone forever. And that's why I created the link manager. I can add here my link. If you expand the little triangle, you will be able to see the path for the file. Now here comes the cool stuff. If I click on the eye icon, I can remove the link, but I can bring it back as needed, which is really, really awesome. This one is to switch from high res to low res. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna try to find a file with the same name, but with that suffix here, you can decide whatever suffix that you want. And if you click on it and it finds a file, it's gonna switch automatically. You can see here, it found it. And I can switch back and forth from high res to low res. If it cannot find a file because it's in another folder or it has another suffix, then it will pop up a file browser where you can select it. You see this one at LOW instead of LO. So you are covered no matter what. Now here's something cool. You see this icon here, it's kind of jaggy. Well, if I render the image here, I will get, well, what I see on screen, the low res version. But if I click on it, now it becomes smooth. That means it's gonna render the high res. So now I render again the image and padadam, I get the high res image, even if on the viewport, I get the low res. So you can save a lot of memory doing this. Then you have the relocate file that you can use if one change the link to something else, the reload button, and the next one will completely delete the link. Other things that are supported. In this case here, I got a file with a Suzanne and an Icosphere. So I load Suzanne, I got her on screen. If I click add link again, I can go in the same file and load the Icosphere and it's gonna work. So this way you can load as needed. And on the opposite, if you want to remove one, well, just select it in the outliner and delete it. One important thing to understand is that there's no correlation between the low res and the high res. It's not trying to replace the low res object with the high res one. And that's because the geometries don't match. The low res only has one part and the high res has tons of them. It just swaps the files. By the way, there's a difference between loading a collection as an instance or not. As an instance, you can simply move it, scale it, rotate it as you wish. But if I load it again, but this time it's not gonna be an instance, then you will need to do library overrides in order to move them. But you will lose all your translation rotations and scales if you unload the link. But let me link it again as an instance. Now this time, if I move it, scale it, rotate it, and then either offload it and reload it or switch to high res and low res, it will keep all the transformations. But for this, you wanna make sure that in both files, the collections have the exact same name. I will not support library overrides. That would be an absolute nightmare and it's way over my paycheck. But hey, it's open source. If you wanna mess with it, knock yourself out. So yeah, you can have fun with all your link files. You can turn them on and off and high res and low res and everything. I hope you realize the potential that this add-ons offers. Like all my other add-ons, it's completely free. The link is in the description and I submitted it to the extension platform. Hopefully it will get approved. Okay, bye.